Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but... Seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? This ambush is simpler, because Menge was already planning to move Dandelion to Oxenfurt. Dudu just needs to confirm an order everyone knew Menge was planning to give. If he released Dandelion, he'd need to explain why, probably raise suspicions in the process. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! I to watch the rains in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mudsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure. Let's play.
clever one again. My goodness. So, another hand. If you've no more coin, we could play for... They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. No. Road through here. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Anyone right through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, I something of the kind, Dash Boy. Turned left there. But where a wench she were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Where'd you come from? Eternal fire. Hey, uh... started limping. Before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. But what then? How long do you think you can keep me in this hut? Quiet. Don't worry about me. I'll be quiet. But those halflings, 
You can't trust them, you know. Once I saw one of them. Ouch! And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And we'll be no victory along the way. I could wring your neck like a flat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot, like that, you've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Got me heads up. What? No, 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 you see? Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this will inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foley. Gladiv Don Ep Tanaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Hmm. The curse invokes ugliness. My entire life don't think I've seen anyone uglier than Stunning Gemma? No. A certain deformed midget who appeared out of the blue on the shores of Hindrisfjall. And now wanders around the Baron's castle. Ugh, you and Siri. Like two water droplets. Never know what either of you are talking about. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Maybe. Besides, the curse might have had something to do with Uma. I should collect him from the Baron. Uma? The, uh, deformed midget? What will you do with him? First, lift the curse. Maybe I can get some help at Kaer Morin. After that, who knows? You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. We're, um, grateful that we wanted to demonstrate that. So, we got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right? All right. Farewell.
Help you. What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. How may I assist you? Need some armor. So long. I don't know. Well, uh, uh, Ruffians to him. 
Greetings! Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. Sure. What? I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. <laughs> I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? That one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morin. Well, come on. displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way.
and the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. <laughs> I give you three solid leaves, trails as fresh as morning dew, the aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack, a needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this, what of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen.
close to the fortress. Someone's been slacking off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that. Nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> 